Welcome to Land the House, I'm Seth. This is a 200 watt folding briefcase style solar panel from Flex Solar. Let's pull this out of the box and take a look at all of its features. Now it weighs 36 pounds, so definitely be careful as you are moving it around. It's a 200 watt panel and uh, folds out kind of like a briefcase as advertised here on the box. <laughs> Let me see if I can get this thing out of here. It comes with a carrying case to protect the solar panel. Looks like it unzips to about halfway down the panel. So let's go ahead and pull this out. Uh, now I'm noticing one thing already. The uh, bag over here has got a little cut in it. I guess it's uh, either been dropped in shipping or uh, just cut that a bit. So let's go ahead and pull this out of here. Okay, we'll drop that carrying case down. Now it's got some clasp up here to uh, keep this together. And it looks like uh, one of them is missing its uh, closure piece there. And the other one is uh, kind of bent. So this may have been uh, kicked around in shipping. Um, but I'd like to have seen uh, that intact instead of broken there. All right, let's take a close up look at this panel. I've got the storage back here so I can open this glass down and protect it so we can look at the things on the inside of this panel. So first of all, it does have metal legs on both sides so you can prop this up into the sun. It's got a storage bag with a couple of different cables in here. So we've got an Anderson to SAE. I think that's about three feet right there. We've got this one right here, which is the SAE to the uh, DC barrel plug. Another three foot cable there. And then we've got just bare wires to these battery alligator clamps. And uh, so that will be uh, helpful as well. I think that's everything from that bag. It's got a little uh, manual and then also a manual for the uh, uh, charge controller. So this unit does come with a charge controller up here. I'll get you closer to that in just a minute. And then uh, both the panels are connected together with this uh, wire right here. It's got this wire, which uh, you could use to connect uh, directly to like a power station with the Anderson here from the, the panel. Or you can connect this to the charge controller, which is what we're gonna be doing here in just a bit. And that will allow me to then use the charge controller to charge a battery directly with the panels. So um, that's what I'm gonna be doing here in just a bit. But let me bring you up closer so you can see each of these components and then we will set this up in the sun and get some output. Let's go ahead and get some of the specs here on these panels. This is the Flex Solar brand. The model is the FLC G2 182000P200B. The max peak power is 200 watts, maximum power point voltage is 18.6 volts, maximum power point current 10.8 amps, open circuit voltage 22.8, short circuit current is 11.2 amps, and then we got uh, maximum system voltage 1000 volts DC, uh, operating temperature 45 plus or minus 2 Celsius, uh, temperature range negative 40 to uh, 85C, Power tolerance plus or minus 5%, and the weight is 36.8 pounds. This advertises an IPX of 6.5, so it'll keep some water out and dust. And then over here on this side, you've got your connection right there. Probably worth tightening that up a bit. It's a little bit loose. And then that will come out of there with that SAE connector you can hook up right there goes to the uh, PWM charge controller. It's got a uh, film on here you can remove. So uh, it does accept lithium batteries, which is what I'll be using here in just a moment. You've got USB and you've got some buttons here you can change things up. This is your solar input, which is what we've just done right there. Over here you've got your positive and negative to the battery, and then you've got your positive negative for a load over here. So we'll just be doing battery for this case. Now that is uh, permanently attached to the panel. 
and hopefully the angle there will prevent water from getting to it. I'm gonna load everything back up here. We're gonna walk across the street and charge up one of my lithium batteries. And now it is a little bit overcast today, but I think we'll still be able to get some uh, watts out of this panel, especially since it's a 200 watt. I think we'll be doing all right. I do want to check real quick in this bag to see if I can find the missing clamp that goes on the top here. Let me open this up and see if it's down in here. Yep, I did find it here. Let me see if it will easily reattach. Okay, looks like both of these could just use a little extra squeeze to get them tight enough here. This seems like a good place to set this panel up to charge that lithium battery. So go ahead and open it back up. And I'm gonna pull the little baggie out right there. And then I can flip this over, get the legs out real quick. I'm guessing the angle here will allow us to adjust it a bit as need be. So we'll go ahead and turn this around and I'll get those facing into the sun. I've got a lithium iron phosphate battery here and then the charge controller is on the back side of the panel right here. So what I want to do is hook up these uh, alligator clamps here and so on the charge controller. I'm not sure how well this is gonna show up for you being so bright in the sun, but um, so right here we've got the positive and the negative for the battery. So I just need to uh, loosen those screws up and get that wire stuck in there. I didn't check to see how long this wire is, but it seems like about uh, 10 foot. So it should be sufficient. All right, so my red wire is gonna be the positive down here. Get that stuck in there where it needs to be. All right, there we go. Now, I just want to connect these to the battery real quick. Black to black, red to red. I'm gonna go into the settings real quick and make sure that this is set to 14.5 for my lithium battery. I set up the charge controller to charge this battery up to 14.5 volts because it is uh, designed to be 14.6 maximum charge. And so we'll be able to see this charge up throughout the next hour or two. So uh, the sun is out kind of, but uh, it is a bit overcast, which I'll show you here. You can see the clouds are just kind of covering the sun up there, but we're still getting some input. So we will uh, see this thing fully charged and I'll do a test with this to uh, see what kind of voltage we're getting uh, on a nice cloudless day. So, but for now we are seeing some input and there's a little indicator there showing that the, the battery is currently being charged. The position of the legs can be adjusted a little bit. I've got them pretty much at the maximum spot right now, but you can go a little bit further out. Ah, you can see right there, that's about maximum. So when we have a multimeter out here, I can test out the different angles, um, but they are on a little metal hinge and you can adjust them up or down a little bit to get a different angle into the sun but that seems pretty good at the moment. The panels themselves are water resistant. Now that charge controller you can see is tucked up under that pretty good, but a blowing rain would definitely contact it. So just have to consider that whenever you are charging things out in the weather. Um, but as far as uh, dew goes or just the light straight down rain, I think you'd be fine to have the, uh, the charge controller back there not getting wet. Of course, you'd wanna have your battery tucked up under something to keep it from getting wet but so far the panels seem to be working as advertised we'll uh, check the battery status here in a bit and then we will also uh, check with a multimeter to see what kind of voltage we're getting here it's been roughly an hour the skies have opened up and it's full sun so let's see what our charge is looking like down here 
See if I can get it to focus with the sun being so bright. Uh, so we're looking at 14.4. So we're pretty close to that, yeah, 14.5, 14.4. So we're almost to the uh, charge value that I set on this battery. Uh, so I'm gonna let this sit out here for a few more minutes, get that battery fully charged up. The charge controller on the solar panel, so this battery is now at 14.5. And on this multimeter, I've got 14.53. So yes, it has reached the level that I set it up to, which is good news. I've turned the panel to face the sun. And as you can see, it is a cloudless sky now, which is good news for our testing. Now I'm going to separate the charge controller from the panels. So I'll remove that. And now I can use my voltmeter here and hopefully we'll see a value somewhere around the maximum. I've hooked my multimeter up just directly to the panels. I've got 22.08 volts, which is really good. All right, nice. The Flex Solar 200 watt solar panels seem to be doing quite well. The only thing I had an issue with was that the uh, design of the little clamps here to hold the two panels together, I just had to take some pliers and, and crimp that a little bit better. Um, but other than that, the panel seems to be operating as it is advertised and uh, charged up my battery here in just a couple of hours. So definitely doing what it's supposed to do. Let's go ahead and fold this back up real quick and uh, I will send you on your way. All right, yeah, so the uh, advertising on this panel is for the, uh, the briefcase design, which means it folds up like this, and then you can keep all of your cables inside. So let me get those cables. The storage bag has sufficient room for all three of the cables and also the uh, little instruction booklet as well. So that is handy. And because this is the briefcase design, this storage bag can easily be tucked up in between the two panels, just like that. And you should be good to go to uh, transport this thing wherever you need to. Now for the fun of it, let's see how well it goes back into its storage bag. Well, the zipper just busted on it. My personal thoughts on the Flex Solar 200 watt solar panel. It needs better protection in shipping because I think there was an impact on this corner which did uh, three things. It busted a hole in the bag, it uh, popped the zipper and so that's no longer functioning. And also this side is the uh, closure. I had to find the metal piece down in the bag. So if they would put some foam or pad around these corners, that issue would have been resolved. As far as the panel goes, it charged up that lithium iron phosphate battery in a very short time. And as we saw in the multimeter, the uh, charge controller showed that it was 14.5 volts and that's what my uh, multimeter showed. So uh, they were matching. Uh, so yeah, the uh, panel itself worked as, as advertised. And I think that uh, it will work well for RVs or camping or for me, hooking up battery for the tiny house. Um, so definitely check this out. I have a link in the description down below. And uh, that shipping issue is probably not something that happens to uh, very many of these. It just happened to be something that I am dealing with. But anyway, um, still a good product. So definitely check out those links in the description down below. I'm Seth with Land of House, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.